Hello viewers! Hope you're having a fantastic day. Today we are, we, by my wife and I, are going to make egg rolls! Beef egg rolls to be exact. And uh, here are some of the ingredients that we're going to need. So we have the cabbage. Go ahead wifey. Alright, so the cabbage is just the bag that we bought in the supermarket. You know, the coleslaw mix. Coleslaw mix, there you go. And then we have some soy sauce soy that we're going to add to it later. This is cumin. We have paprika, salt and pepper, ginger and fresh garlic that I made. Um, I don't like buying the store-bought one, which is fine if you want to. This is parsley, chopped parsley. And this onion. is chopped onion. And we have this egg roll wrappers. I usually like the La Soya brand. This is the first time using this one, so I guess we'll see. Twin Dragon. We bought this at Stop and Shop. Uh, do you know the price of this? It was about, uh, maybe I think two it was for three. two for three or something like that. Mm -hmm. Really, really good deal. All so right. uh, we so now are. We're going to come over here. Okay. Let's move over. And we're going to put on our stove. So we're just using ground beef. Mm -hmm. um, do you know Some the lean oil of it? 80%? 85%? 85. 85%. And whatever else it is. <laughs> it's mm -hmm. a fat. All good. So All right. Grab a spoon. Yep. Yeah, go ahead. All right. And then we're just pouring in our... Let's pour in the meat. Meat. We're going to have the meat cooked here. Yes. Ground beef. Fresh. From our local uh, supermarket. Yep. So you just want to... Do like this to it. Make sure that we get a whole bunch of little small pieces. We don't want big pieces in the egg rolls. In the mix, yep. In the mix. All right. And we'll continue to do this for a little bit. And then in about 15 minutes, then I'll add the ingredients that I just showed Sounds you guys. great. So we're just cooking through. Mm -hmm. All right. All right. Oh. So while the meat is cooking, you know, heating up a little bit, we're... We're going to, at the same time, just um, put some olive oil in there and then uh, saute the onion well, and first the we'll garlic. With the garlic, right? Yes, we'll start with the garlic. All right. The garlic first. Sounds good. It goes our fresh garlic mix. Yes, so this is actually, I, I buy the bag of garlics in the supermarket. I'm, I might make a video and show you guys how I do this. And this lasts forever. It's just garlic and olive oil and you put it in the blender. It just makes the process easier. Yeah. All right. We're going to um, make the garlic very fragrant and bring out the aroma of the garlic. So that mm -hmm. way when we throw the onion in there, it becomes uh, nice and fragrant and delicious. And now I'm just going to add the garlic to it. You mean the onion? The <laughs> onion, I'm sorry. <laughs> this is our first video, by the way, so hopefully you like it. Yeah, if you like it, we'll definitely post some more. Wow, we can already smell the yeah, the aromas. Delicious, smells great. Mm -hmm. And while that meat is uh, cooking okay. as well, we'll have the onion mix. Oh yeah, this we'll just add it to the ground beef. Right. And it'll give it extra flavor. Now, would you, you like me to flavor. help in any way, my dear? All right. Um, I'm just gonna add this. To I'm the... gonna add it to the mix now. Yeah. Very early on. All right. Yes. Yeah. Great. Cause I like to add it early. So we added the garlic with the onion. I like to add it early. That way the beef could start infusing with the flavors. And then it'll taste really good. I am her designated cameraman now. Mm -hmm. So my duty is to stay here and uh, watch. But I can do two things at once. Look how gifted and talented I am. All right. Here. Let's, just, let's throw some salt and pepper on this. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. And what was the reason why we're not adding a, a lot of salt? It's because of the soy sauce, right? Uh, because I learned the soy sauce has a lot of salt. Yes. The first time I did it, I put my regular amount of salt in the beef, and then I added soy sauce, and we discovered it was too salty. That's right. You don't want anything too salty because the flavor uh, won't be as good. Mm-hmm. All right, so we're still slicing and dicing. Okay, I'm just going to go ahead and add all the ingredients. Well, the rest of the spices, the parsley, I'll do it towards the end with the, with the coleslaw mix. Ah, okay. Add it 
oh I like to add these ingredients early like I said so that the flavors could all infuse together so that was the salt pepper that was the paprika that uh, that was ginger and this is the cumin cumin gives it a nice flavor and now we'll just mix it keep on mixing mm -hmm. and then we'll come back later when it's time to add the parsley and the coleslaw mix but that's when the meat is cooked already all right guys we'll see you in a little bit all right guys so now we're just gonna make the water and flour mixture for the egg roll wrap to seal them um and i'll show you guys later at the end i think that's about good right let's just add um, the water to it it's two one eighth two one eighth spoons and then we'll just add some water to it and then we want to stir that around a bit let's see it's going to make a paste so that the um meat so that we can seal the out and it seals the egg rolls yes and then we just mix this up mix it up so it becomes like a paste yeah not like a liquid we just mix it and there we go oops i made a little mess okay all right so here is our meat it's been cooking for about, for 15, about 15 minutes. minutes so now we're just gonna add the parsley to it And then in like five more minutes, when the water dries up, when it, when it's pretty dry, then we'll add the coleslaw mix. And the coleslaw mix is just cabbage, carrots. And just cabbage and carrots. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, so now we're going to add the soy sauce to the beef. I usually just eyeball it. That should be about enough. It's maybe about half a cup of soy sauce and then we can taste it just to make sure that it's you know that it's tasting good it's super Let's hot see. be careful actually that tastes pretty good yeah yeah and then now we'll add the cabbage all right we'll add the cabbage This is a cabbage mix, so mm -hmm. it's good. But yeah, this one has some red cabbage, and that's okay. And now, because the beef is done, we're just going to leave this just a little bit, not too long, because we want the cabbage to be a little crunchy. And we can bring up the beef a little bit like this. See how nice that looks? Looks delicious. Oh, making me hungry. Okay, we're gonna try it in a bit. Okay, and then we just, in about maybe two minutes, we turn it off. Ah, sounds great. And it's gonna taste amazing with that crunch and the, the soy sauce and yeah. the seasoning, the cumin, the paprika, the garlic. Oof. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh. See how pretty this looks? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Nice mix. All right, we're back with our mix, our meat and beef mix. Yes, this is the filling for the uh, the egg rolls. So again, these are rolls. the wraps that, that we use. bought that we're gonna use. I usually use them the soya brand, but I guess we'll see what this one tastes like. I didn't find the soya brand awesome. in the supermarket. Let's get started. All right, so we came to the living room because we don't want to be standing in the kitchen all day. So we this way we can watch TV and make some egg roll wraps. Sounds like a deal. All right, so we grab some of our mix. We put it in here like that, you see? And then we roll this part over. And then we roll it one more time. You wanna make it tight so that it doesn't go anywhere. And then this part, we bring it over, we dip our finger in the in the, in the seal flower seal and then we bring this part over again we do the same thing looks like an envelope yep it does and then here we just do like that 
you know, you're going to have a nice seal so it doesn't we'll open up while you're frying it. We'll get my seal of approval for this one. Mm -hmm. oh, you see, there we go. Look at that How beautiful. Pretty. And then we'll just put it here in the meantime. That's let's, the first one. Let's build more egg yeah, rolls. Yeah, let's watch the, another one as we All make right, it. let's check this out. So I'm going to grab your uh, filler. Mm-hmm. Beef filler, put it right in the yep. cabbage, delicious. A little bit more. I snuck a bite of this while my wife wasn't looking, and uh -oh. uh, it was, and it was absolutely good. fantastic. There we go. All right, so we wrap it a little bit. Mm. And then we grab our little seal here. Seal and of bring approval. this side over. There we go. And then bring that side over. Make your envelope. No, well, hold on. Well, yes, make an envelope. And then seal of approval. we put the flour water mixture on here so it doesn't open up while you're cooking it, frying it, actually. Cool. There we go. Now we have his brother, mm -hmm. Mr. Roll. Yep. All right, let's put, the, put that one there. All right. Let's see. And, and then we're going to see how many we can do. Perfect. These packs bring 25, so... We'll see you in a bit again. And we are back okay. in action. All right, well, that's our neighbor. Um, All right, so we're down go. to the last two egg rolls. Um, I've made uh, 48 right now. This is 49. 49. It's a lot of egg rolls. Good thing I decided to come here and sit down because yeah. my feet would have been tired. So that's something that you guys can do also. If you guys have a dining room table, just go sit. Don't stand in the kitchen all day, you know? And if you have an apartment, be prepared that you're going to be hearing noises from the other side. Yes. So and it's all good. Exactly. Happy Hanukkah, y'all. So this is the water and flour mixture again to seal the egg roll. You see how nicely these are sealed over oh. here? Show those. All right. For yeah. sure. You see how nicely they're sealed? So when I fry them, um, they won't open up, which this will be is the great. Last spot. This, so this is, is what I call one. the holidays. Delicious egg rolls on the holidays to bring you that okay. happy feeling, whether you're celebrating Christmas, Hanukkah, or any other holiday. Yeah, whatever holiday you May want, God make delicious bless you. food. Make delicious egg rolls. Whatever you want. But yes, you can come to our our video. You can learn how to make the egg rolls how we did. It will be delicious. And this is how we do. Mm-hmm. And then just put the water mixture, seal it up That's nicely. Cool. Oh, yeah. Yep. And there we go. That's the last one. That's the last one. egg roll. Right, let me seal this little corner All here. Right, let's seal it up. There we go. Let's seal this and little the fun corner. Part comes when we fry them. All right. Now we're going to go take all this to the kitchen and we're going to fry them. We'll see you in a bit. All right. We are on the um, oil. So we're going to fry the egg rolls now. Um, we put the oil. Uh, we want to heat it up. Make sure that it's nice and hot when we put the dumplings in. Let's see. Dumplings. And what is this called? Egg, egg rolls. rolls. <laughs> so you what see it's this? crackling there nicely. I'm going to fry them just until they get brown. I wonder if I need more oil. I guess we'll see. But it looks okay for now. Looks okay for now. Wow, they're looking pretty. And they are. All right, let me get a spoon. I can turn them. Yep. All right, so we're just gonna turn them over. Let's see how they're, well, you see, nice and brown. Ooh, that looks very pretty. And hopefully they taste delicious. Sure they will. Yeah, that one doesn't wanna turn. There we go. And then we got a bowl here with a napkin. That way when these are done, we'll just put them in there. The excess oil could, you know, be soaked up by the napkin. go yeah if you guys find an easier way to turn these maybe with tongs. let us know in the comments probably tongs or something maybe right? tongs but i'm scared it would destroy it it's like it's almost parmesan on the outside <laughs> mm -hmm. 
They look very pretty. So they we've got pretty. one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight here. Then we got all this to go. Right. After that. And then, let's see how it's looking on the other side. Almost there. So I like to use a big pan, like high on the sides, because I don't like it when all the oil splatters out. You know, this kind of protects us a little bit. So that's it. This looks good, I think. So we're going to take it out. We're just going to put them there. Let's see. Turn that one over a little bit. Just so it could cook a little bit more. And I guess uh, we will show the finished results. Yeah, we'll come back when it's like two more left. Uh, you know, well, we're I not guess. gonna make you watch us fry all of these, but we'll come back in a few, and then you know, we'll let you know how it tastes. All right, so we are on our last seven seven egg rolls. And this is looking so good, I can't contain myself. I can't wait to try it out and let you guys know what I think. I'm going to try this zesty sauce with it. It's wow. really, really delicious. Um, first, I'm going to take a bite of it. Whenever it's uh, finished, we're going to put them at the table. So, almost done. You see the Ooh. oil is so hot, it makes it brown right away. Right this is away. amazing. Right away. Yeah, the well, that longer one you cook it. a little it, more time. Yeah, but the longer you cook yeah. it, the more... Uh, faster mm -hmm. it turns uh, golden golden there we go wow that one looks pretty yeah it does let's see so i discovered guys if i move them out of the way if i bring them to the corner and turn them like that then it's a little easier to turn ah. yes because trying to turn them from the middle is a little difficult oh, it is Deliciousness. Yeah, they look very nice. They look very so pretty. Nice, they come out like this. I hope they taste just as good as Ooh. they look. Can't wait to try it out. Mm -hmm. This is this smells amazing. Oh, you can just imagine how it tastes on the inside. We will see. Yeah. Uh, this is the most exciting part here, the taste trial. So um, let's see what it looks like in the middle. So no, I brought a knife out. here. We're going to cut it. Oh my goodness. Wow. How delicious that looks. Let me looks. get a nice aim on it. Nice. You're going to take a bite good. of it? Yes, I'll take a bite. I'll take a bite of it too. Just a mm. Let me see this thing. Hold on. Wow, this is pretty delicious. Mm -hmm. Wow. You know what? Let me add this sauce that you brought over. So yeah. we got this sauce from Trader Joe's. What's it called? Magnific Magnificent sauce. sauce. Oh, this is just delicious. Huh? This is very delicious. Yeah, pour some on yours and then. Oops, I may have done a little bit too much. Pour some on mine. A little bit on yours. Yeah. All right. So let's see what it tastes like with this sauce. All right. Oh. Um, pretty good mm. Mm -hmm. that is absolutely delicious uh, pour some more sauce so look at oh, it, the onion the, the parsley mm -hmm. the, the seasoning in the meat it's incredible you Thank know what you. i'm gonna have mine without sauce i like it better without the sauce i love the sauce it's like a burger right. sauce and then this is great for parties this is great just for like a snack you know um so hopefully you guys can Make this egg roll also and enjoy the goodness. Are you trying to take mine? You can't no. have mine. <laughs> Look at my finger. Oh, I know. It gets a little oily and messy. Mm, All no. right, guys. So hope you enjoyed the video and we'll mm. see you next time. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye.